Hey everybody, this is Johnny Yum coming at you from GeezerRama.com. It's been a while since I've been around to uh, play any games with you guys, and I kind of wanted to jump back in the scene and uh, take on a new indie game that is still in early access. So, I chose uh, a game called Just Death from Radioactive Software. Uh, this is kind of like a, a GTA uh, payday, I want to say mashup? Clone sounds a little harsh and a little gratuitous at this point. Uh, but it comes with offline and online gameplay. And what I want to do is I'll run you through some of the offline uh, game modes, and from there we'll uh, we'll see what kind of damage we can do. Now, uh, this game does have its uh, you know its singular claim to fame. It may not be graphics, it may not be actual gameplay. We'll see, but it does tote a procedurally generated map every time. Now, how many times you can rearrange a building and make it look fancy? We'll see. So, we're going to hop right in. There are three offline game modes, Vigilante, Bank Heist, and Gang War. I've played all three. I'm going to run through each of them with you. They're uh, absolutely hilarious. They're just gems. So, we're going to start off with Vigilante, which uh, is briefly described as clean up city streets of scum and thugs. So, we're either going to be doing this with a gun or a mop or those little high power pressure washers that take the gum off the sidewalks. So, you do have a couple objecti objectives. I can't speak today. <laughs> First one's kill all members of the biker gang in the city. Uh, why? That's fine. We'll get to that, maybe. Uh, avoid police officers throughout the city. Keep that in mind. Uh, purchase new weapons and vehicles from your vigilante hideout. Right? And search dead bikers for cash. Now, keep all four of those in mind. I put up the five fingers, but that's fine. Uh, we're also going to pick our weather. Uh, as much as I like to leave it up to random and let the fates decide, I want to do snow because... It reminds me of Christmas, and I would desperately love some Christmas right now. So we're going to jump right in, vigilante mode. We're going to go kill some bikers. Uh, so it's going to jump us, uh, dump us into this really, uh, it's it's the same every time, I think. Uh, this hideout, hangout, club. There are four bunks, I'm not sure, because I'm just one person. And a big screen TV with nothing going on. Like, unless it's a built-in smart TV, I'm just going to be staring at some blank. Oh, and there's snow coming through. Uh, there's okay there we go and a picture of a cat these crates which are suspicious probably full of guns and vigilante accoutrement and a buenos dias poster which has significance beyond my understanding and i would not shit in that toilet if you paid me so i'm done criticizing my hangout if i really wanted to change it i wouldn't have papered it with this god-awful uh wallpaper but that's not up to me so i'm gonna go ahead and buy a gun with the menu uh it looks like i can do weapons of various types and uh vehicles SWAT van, a speedster, it's not a real car, uh, delivery van, a police car, royal, oh, and the language in this game. Uh, so I don't want to buy a vehicle, I want to buy a gun, but I also wish I could click on drugs, tools, and other and deposit. So I'm not sure what drugs is, probably, you know, boosts the health and, and, and maybe something else, I'm not sure. Uh, deposit money, you can put money in your bank, obviously, and tools and other sounds uh, suspicious, and I don't have any clue as to what that would be. So I'm going to buy the uh, Tech 9, because I was just listening to Tech 9, and he inspired me. Also, i got to point this out. This doorway is absolutely ridiculous. Why the hell is there a door there? A door there, in this hallway that I probably couldn't spread my arms in and do jumping jacks with. Moving on. Anyway, so, uh, right off the bat, you can see that it's uh you know he tells me it's procedurally generated he being the developer the single developer tells me it's procedurally generated i'm gonna take his word on it because every time i've spawned it looks the fucking same and i i don't mean to sound so cruel and, and crass but i really can't tell the difference you know these dumpsters are over there those dumpsters over here anyway the world's pretty enough uh it looks vast you know uh largely populated it seems and i'm actually gonna go ahead and take you up close to some of these really attractive looking individuals this man <laughs> dead eyes straight ahead doesn't give a shit what's going on runs right into people or we'll move on him same look same glazed over eyes and number three yep these people don't blink they don't care they're emotionless they don't care about anything until you get up to them and i learned this accidentally actually uh, that you might see that little text there but uh... it says rob civilian and all i have to do is press a Boom. Give me all your cash. And he drops, you know, two wads of cash, which he was carrying apparently in his armpits that fell out when he dropped his hands. I can do this 150 times in a row, uh, more even, if I wanted to, and I get money every time. And the best part about this is, let me find one of these running cops. I can do this in front of anyone. I might even be able to rob the cop. 
here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Uh, let me run. Oh, that's not running. I can do this in front of this, uh, this jogging police officer, and this one too. I'll get, I'll do it in front of two cops. Boop, boop, boop. And they don't care. Look at that. He even drew his gun. He's not even pointing at me. Uh, so, the AI in this game is, uh, mind-numbingly, mind-numb, basically. Uh, they're all just drones that stare straight ahead. I don't imagine this is going to be fixed, necessarily. It seems kind of like a large, uh, uh, I don't know, a really, or just a really big problem in the game so far. And the developer, so the developer says he's about 60% of the way through. He says it's about three different times throughout the game, and on his Steam page, and in personal communications, and that's fine. But if you're 60% of the way through your game, and your AI is still drooling on itself, uh, something's a little bit wrong. Now, something smaller that could be fixed before the game is released is the uh, dropping your gun when you're asking for money button. Which, if you're using a controller, which the game is supposedly completely controller supported, uh, if you press to rob somebody, but you do it too quickly, I'll, I'll do it here. In fact, I'm going to rob this guy, I'm going to rob him. Oh! So instead of robbing him, I chuck my gun at him, and then I ask him for money. He ends up giving me money anyways, because, you know, he's totally ridiculous, and doesn't deserve the money. But, uh, you know, I shouldn't have to drop my gun to pick up money, and vice versa. Now, I do want to get into something else. This is great. If you just saw it, please don't spoil it for the person next to you. All of the cars in here, which are, uh, you know, there are quite a few. It's a well-populated world. All of the cars are driverless. There's not a single damn person in any of these cars, and they still pile up! This is proof that robot cars, or, uh, you know, uh, what do they call them, self-driving cars, they will not solve our traffic issues, because you're gonna have shit like this. Look at this. I swear to god, this is the kind of stuff that makes me, that endears me to this game. The cars themselves can't move, they're piling up on each other, and these dickheads are just running into the car, sandwiching it on either side. I would be amazed if you don't just see, like, a 50 car pile up and we just waited here for 40 minutes. I just, I can't stand that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and relieve them. I'm gonna jump in the car. Alright, and I gotta level up for killing civilians. I just got in a car and I murdered two people. That was unfortunate. But it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go ahead and drive away. Uh, it's kind of hard to see with all the snow. I probably should have picked rain or nothing. Uh, I do want to mention that... I'm getting out of this car. Uh, I do want to mention that vehicle driving in this game is absolute ass. It is horrible. Uh... All the vehicles drive roughly the same, minus, you know, variations in turning radius. And, uh, it's just, it's a pain to deal with. It really, truly is. Uh, so, but I'm, I'm boring you with details. Details you probably don't want to hear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run to a group of bikers and kill them. Because, oh, he started it! Alright, so I killed my first biker. I'm going to pick up his monies. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, see, I tossed my gun. I can't pick up money without tossing my stupid gun. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run up to these people. So as you can see, uh, they'll sometimes speak, they'll sometimes do it in thought bubbles. You know, the medium isn't always the same. You get points for killing cops, and uh, usually you get stuck in the cars, or they get stuck under your car. And there's the one catchphrase in this game that you'll always hear. Ready? Let's, let's, let's listen for it. Ready? Let me back this big-ass truck up. Four minutes later. Here we go. Alright, listen for it. Ready? It's either watch where you're going or... Wait for it. Hey. So watch where you're going. Hey. Or my personal favorite. Fuck asshole. There you go, right? This game has, uh, like, three lines, and they're all kind of offensive. So I went ahead and, uh, jumped into first-person view, so you can see that I have invisible arms, but the steering wheel turns, so that's a plus. I'm gonna go ahead and pop into cinematic camera, which is a, you know, straight-from-GTA ripoff, and makes driving just impossible even more so. Boom! Up. Oh, that's, yeah. That's why you don't do cinematic view while you're driving. So I'm going to hop out of here. I'm going to do uh, cinematic view while I'm walking, which is just as useless as well. Uh, and I mentioned earlier that the game was supported by controller, which is what I'm playing with now. Uh, this is true up to the point where you actually have to use the controller to do anything, like aiming. Now, typically in games when you're aiming, you can look down the barrel of your gun 
and strafe. Not so much. If I do the typical left stick turn to strafe, I'm going to be aiming, you know, I'm going to actually be turning my body. Uh, not a huge deal. I found it really uh, annoying, a pain in the ass to, or to aim, because with the right stick, you can also aim, albeit slower, right? So the up and down is to speed, but the left and right for the right stick is crap, and it's thus replaced by the left stick's left and right. Uh, maybe not a huge inconvenience for people, it's, it's a learning curve, I understand, but it's a pain in the ass. So I'm gonna go ahead and get killed, we're gonna move on to the next gameplay mode. Alright, shoot me, there we go. So I died. Moving on! Alright, so the next one we're gonna do is Bank Heist. Now, the point of, this is where, so I mentioned earlier that this is kind of a, a hash together of, uh, GTA and, uh, Payday. Right? And this is where the payday part comes in, and probably the only part where the payday part comes in. Well, I'll show you. Okay. So again, I have a couple of objectives. We'll get to those. Uh, the first one being, start inside the Gang City Bank with your crew of gangsters. Now, I want to show you my crew of gangsters because they're top-notch guys. They are dressed to the rafters, they're ready for business, and they're smarter than hell. Alright, next, moving on. Uh, you need to reach the getaway van before it leaves. We'll get to that too. And I need to fight my way through what and any police. The random fuck assholes and watch where you're going have thrown off my vibe. All right, so I'm tired of the snow. I'm gonna go ahead and pick. Uh, I'm gonna pick clear because I want you guys to see this game. And it doesn't really matter what time of the day you start with because time is incrementally ridiculous in this game. And we're gonna go ahead and go. So you start off with your three crewmates. Oh, and it looks like the game actually started without me. So, I want to show you guys my crew. They follow me like puppies, and they are never less than two feet away from each other. And I want you to notice that two of them are masked, and one of them is wearing glasses, as if he were walking down the street, and I died. Damn it. I got distracted. Uh, <laughs> anyway, you can go ahead and watch your crew die. It's fun. Uh, the looks on the cops' faces are great. And it's going to spin around, hopefully it's going to show some of my dead crew, maybe my dead body. Uh, you always die with your eyes open, which is cute, because there's always this look of remorse, like, why am I here? What am I doing? Oh, look at that one, that one's good. Uh, so, in Bank Heist, uh, the point is, you're start starting the bank, you have no money, you can go ahead and choose to get money, uh, which I'm going to show you here. You can go ahead and run the bank and grab the vault and grab all this money. So, it looks like I pick up about a thousand bucks every time. And you think that's the goal, right? Like, I should probably get this money, but uh, I'm going to show you that that's not true, right? So the game said, rob the bank, get the van, fight your way through the cops. I went and got the money, I'm going to go fight my way through cops. Up, 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 up. Alright. Are they going to, they're not going to hop in my car, are they? Oh, they're not. Okay, they're not very smart. I lost one of them. So, I'm going to go ahead and drive off. Maybe fight some more cops, because the instructions were to fight the cops, right? Fight through cops. Alright, I got killed. We're gonna try one more thing. Now, three objections, right? Start in the bank and get the money. Fight your way through cops. Get to the getaway van before it leaves. I'm gonna go ahead and ditch the first two, because it didn't work. I couldn't fight through the cops, because my crew was absolutely ridiculous. Getting the money was okay. Uh, the money never seemed to go away, just respawned. But then I got shot again. So this time, I'm going to go straight for the van. You know what? I'm going to assume my pockets are loaded with cash, and I'm just going to bounce. Alright? So, I'm going to go ahead and run. Oh, didn't even work. Um, it's kind of hard to do this when three bullets can kill you, and there are, like, approximately 72,000 cops out front. Uh, not even an exaggeration. If I had to count, it probably wouldn't be 72,000. All right, we're gonna try one more time. I want to get this done, and I want to move on to the last game mode. All right, here we go. We're gonna get it this time. Here we go. I'm gonna run for the bank. I'm gonna run for the not the bank. I'm gonna run for the uh, the van. And you know what? I'm just gonna steal a car. Here we go. And screw my teammates. I don't need to get them out. Maybe that was an objective. Maybe it wasn't. I don't care. I'm just trying to go for the van at this point. Here we go. Alright, I see it. It's bright blue. I'm just gonna go for it. Ready? Alright. And... And I win. I didn't have to get any money. I didn't have to kill any cops. I didn't even have to get my partners to the van. I just had to go steal a car, run to the van, and get the hell out. And that's a success. Fine. Moving on.
All right, so the last solo player game mode is Gang War. Gang War for me was kind of confusing, and I think I figured out why I ended up hating it so much, right? So the premise of this is there are three gangs, you're one of them, I'm not quite sure how to switch to the Italians or the Mexicans or oddly tanned white people. So I'm always the, the you know, the burly African American fellows. And the point is to control other parts of the city and spread your influence. Now it's kind of vague how they tell you to do this and at, at first, you know, it seems kind of obvious, we'll kill everyone else, right? Uh, it doesn't help that there are so few other gang members in the world, world. And it also doesn't help that uh, the colors never seem to change on their territory. So, I'm going to go ahead and read the objectives. Fight for control of the territory in the city. Prevent other gangs from expanding while growing your own gang. Gang a majority of influence over the city to win. Uh, your gang's money and territory determine its influence. And rob civilians for cash, which is just kind of thrown in there all hackneyed. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with all these settings. And start off in this much more interesting crib. So, I've got the lifelines of three very nefarious looking fellows. I'm going to go ahead and pick this guy. He's my favorite. I call him Biggie. Smalls, and we're gonna go ahead and there's this four car polyp already. So the blue is my gang. Uh, it's pretty sweet. Blue is actually not my favorite color. And for a long time, uh, I wanna I wanna kind of run through this with you in the way that I saw it. I looked on the map, which is in the corner left of the screen, and I thought I should probably go kill other gang leaders. Right? That makes sense to me. I can go steal their territory, so I'm gonna go do that. Right, here we go. So I'm coming up on the green handprints. I think that's what that is. A, a green hand, yeah, green handprints. And the bad guys are marked out with this expl or exclamation point. Dead, right? Fine. Good. Territory didn't change. Still belongs to them. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of the car and show you how to really take people's territory. Ready? Okay. Boom. That's it. You simply run over an empty square, and it's yours. <laughs> Shit, if that's the case, I've taken over half of San Francisco today alone, right? It's, it's like a, my, my one single comparison for this game mode was like playing Ghetto Splatoon, minus the paint, or ink, or whatever the hell that is, right? You're just painting over territory that's yours by walking at it, looking at it funny, and not really doing all that much else. Now, I've never actually gotten to 100% gang control of the city, A, because I can never change the other gang's home turf colors, and B, oh, there's the money from the bank, you can see it through the walls, B, uh, it was just way too friggin' tedious to go through each and every block of this procedurally generated city to claim it as my own. I just didn't have the patience for it, and I promise you won't either, okay? Because what the hell's the difference in the end? Nothing so far. Now maybe this is going to be changed. Again, this is early access and I do understand that some things are filler, some things are placeholders for, you know, how it sh will be or should be. But uh, it really, it really is kind of disheartening to see that this is how the game is rolling out so far at 60% done. Alright? Uh, I'm not going to go through every city block and color it, you know, blue for you, Billy Joe. Oh, thank you for those of you who get that. Uh, but I'm not going to color it blue for you. I'm going to do one more block, just to show you how easy it is to be a gang leader, apparently. Don't try this in your local towns. Boom. Alright, I own 9% of the city, I'm going to call that good. So, we're going to go ahead and bounce out of here, and I'm going to show you the last bit of this game so far, which is... Let me see if I can get to it. It's kind of hard using the controller. I'm going to use the mouse. Alright, which is online mode. Now, maybe there's going to be somebody out here. Uh, it's not looking like the servers are any fuller than they were last time I tried. Update the server list. Nothing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into an empty server, anyways, just to show you guys what it's like. Um, online play is fun. Grand Theft Auto Online is a blast because not only can you interact with the NPCs in the city, but you also have free reign over everyone else playing. Right. Um, this is where the Grand Theft Auto comparison kind of goes to waste. Uh, my screen just kind of went out on me. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. I'm back. Uh, this is where the Grand Theft Auto kind of comes to waste because while you do have run of the you know 16 by 16 block city, there's nobody else in it. I did not want the van. I wanted the speedster. Uh, there's nobody else in the city. No NPCs. Actually, that's that's a lie. There are like three, four, five NPCs. They're all bad guys that have fists, not guns, right? 
So their threat minimal is level. I'm going to go hunt one down just for fun uh, to show you. But, you know, where we at one point saw, you know, hundreds of NPCs walking around and, and, and smart cars driving themselves in the offline player mode, there's absolutely no one here. And I get that there will be when people are actually playing, but for now it's like an empty world that I can't really do all that much, and I can't even play God and Hover. Right, so, uh, it's kind of pointless. Oh, this one's got a gun! I stand corrected. But he doesn't seem very interested in me, I'm gonna try and catch his attention. Hey, buddy. Probably the best part is honking the horn. Uh, I actually did get a chance to play with another person for a couple of minutes. And it turned into me honking my horn and him shooting at me for, you know, a good solid three, four, five minutes before he left and I left too. Alright, so, oh! There's a glitch that I want to point out to the developer if he's watching. Uh, if you get out of the car while it's moving, there's a 72% chance that it will kill you. Not like real life, right? Five miles per hour shouldn't kill me if I open the door. I do it all the time in my driveway. Alright, so... That's going to be about it for me because uh, I've got to go write this review up and i got to check out a few more things to see if uh, it gets any better. But this was Just Death by Radioactive Software. I'm Johnny Ohm. This is Gizarama, and I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and tune in for the next one. Go ahead and check out the review or the preview for this. Uh, again, this is a game in early alpha. So some of the things I'm saying will probably be fixed, uh, some of them more than likely won't. And if it looks a little rough, it always has the excuse of still being in development for another year. So, with that being said, have a great evening or afternoon, or morning, or midday, or midnight, and I will see you guys later. Bye.